today I'm gonna make for you four cheese ravioli. So as promised, here we go. I'm gonna show you how to make four cheese ravioli. And yes, it's keto safe. So here's what you're gonna need for the dough part of this recipe. You're gonna need a cup of almond flour, three tablespoons of coconut flour, you're gonna need two teaspoons of arrowroot powder, you're gonna need a quarter teaspoon of sea salt or pink Himalayan salt, you're gonna need two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar, and I use the Bragg's, uh, I recommend this to everybody. I'll leave a link for this down in the comment. You can get, um, I think it's, you buy three, or you buy two, get one free up on Amazon, but I'll share the link down there. And then also you're gonna need three to five teaspoons of water, and you're gonna need one egg. And hey, if you haven't done so, click on the button down there to subscribe to my channel and click the little bell icon so that way you'll be notified every time I post new content to help you in your keto journey. So now that you got all your ingredients together, you want to get out um, your mixer, your stand mixer, or you know we have the Nutri Ninja with the um, dough bowl attachment on it. So we're going to use this. All right. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put your almond flour in. Then your coconut flour, then your arrowroot powder, and then your salt. And I'm just going to freshly grind some right in there. Okay. Then we're going to put the lid on this. We're just going to pulse it really quick to get it all mixed nicely. Then make sure if it you know comes up the sides, you scrape that back down. And you just want to pulse this a couple times just to get this um, well, well mixed together. Okay, so I'm going to put this right back on there. Let's go. So then with the mixer, or a processor, however you're doing this, with that running, you're gonna to wanna to add the two um, teaspoons of apple cider vinegar. We're gonna let that blend for a minute. Then we're gonna add the egg, and then we're gonna add the water a little at a time until it becomes the consistency that we want. All right, so I'm gonna turn this on low dough. I'm gonna open up my little flap right here, and I'm gonna pour in the apple cider vinegar. And then once I see that's mixed, I'm going to add the egg slowly. Okay, and then once that's mixed, you get your water ready. Start adding some water. Okay, and then just let that mix up for a minute. All right, so now that you got that well mixed and it looks like dough, we're going to take the lid off here. We're going to take the blade out of here. And you're going to want a piece of saran wrap. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the dough out of here. And we're going to put it right on this piece of saran wrap that I have ripped over here. Try to get it all out of there as much as you can. Okay, and I'm gonna set this out of the way for a minute. And then all we're gonna do is wrap this up a little bit. Okay, so bring in the two sides, like so. 
bring this over, and then just fold this onto itself like this. And then we're just going to take this and we're going to knead it a little bit in this clear wrap, just like this. Okay, and then we're going to let this sit out for about 15 minutes in room temperature. And then we're going to put this in the fridge for about 45 minutes. And then it will be, you know, ready to make into the raviolis. All right, now that you got the dough in the refrigerator for 45 minutes to let that, you know, set up so that you can make the raviolis, we're going to get making the cheese filling. So this is what you're going to need. You're going to need a half a cup of ricotta cheese, a half a cup of cream cheese. You're going to need one cup of grated mozzarella, which we do our own. You're going to need two-thirds of a cup freshly grated Parmesan. This is what we use. You're going to need salt and pepper to taste. And you're going to need two egg yolks. Not the whole egg, so you want to separate the yolk from the egg. And I'll show you how to do that right here. So now that you got all your ingredients together for the filling, you, this is how we're going to do it, all right? So in a, a medium-sized bowl, you want to add the half a cup of ricotta cheese, okay? You want to add the four ounces, which is a half a cup of um, cream cheese. Then you want to add the one cup of grated mozzarella, grated it right here. And then the two-third cup of freshly grated Parmesan right here. Okay, and then we're just gonna mix this up a little bit. Okay. And you may wanna use a stiffer ball because this one's a little hard to mix with, but we thought it'd be convenient. So now that you got the cheeses all mixed together, we're going to add the two egg yolks. And again, that was just egg yolks, not any egg whites in there. Then we're going to add some salt, pink Himalayan or sea salt. And then we're going to add some cracked black pepper. You know, just put enough in that for your liking. I might like it a little more spicy than you do. And then we're just going to mix this up. Now that we got this all mixed up, we're going to set this aside for when we need it to stuff the raviolis. All right, so here we are going to make up the raviolis. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. You're going to need two parch pieces of parchment paper, a rolling pin, and a pizza cutter or a knife or cookie cutter, something like that, all right? So right here is the dough that I put in the, the fridge. It's been in there for over 45 minutes, so that's ready to go. All right, and then I'm just going to take, put this right here. Just going to open this up. And I sort of made it into a rectangle before I put it in there so that it would be easier to form. And then I have the parchment paper right here. So I'm going to put this in the center. Okay. And then I'm going to take another piece of parchment paper and lay over the top. Okay. And then we're just going to take the rolling pin and we're going to spread this out as thin as we can get it. You're supposed to get about um, 20 raviolis out of this. We're actually doubling the recipe, but I'm just showing you guys how to make one recipe right here. And if you wanted to double it, all you got to do is, you know, use two times the amount of everything. And you can make 40 of these. And, you know, if you love Italian food and you've been missing it doing keto, maybe this would be your fix to 
you know, help you succeed and make you feel like you're still eating regular pasta. Okay, and then once you get this rolled out, you're going to cut it into two inch squares. Just make sure you use enough um, parchment paper that you don't run out. And then you can go around and, you know, feel it, make sure it's all about the same thickness. It's time for question of the day. So, um, you know, do you guys do a lot of your own cooking or do you buy, you know, meals that are already prepared that are keto friendly? Me personally, I like to make everything that I eat from scratch so I know exactly what I'm eating. I don't trust a lot of the, you know, food companies out there. So, you know, if I make my own food, I know what's in it. Leave me a comment down below and tell me, you know, do you buy your food already made? Or you can even answer this poll right up here. All right, so now we got that, you know, flattened out as much as we can. Uh, we'll peel the first piece of parchment paper off from here. Okay, and then we're just going to use our pizza cutter. And we're going to make them about two inches. So, and, you know, I'm sure we're going to have to... Um, Grab all the scraps and re-roll them. So about two inches wide. And then you want to do about two inches this way. And then what we're going to do is I'm um, going to use this same piece of parchment paper. And we got to grab one of these off here if I can get them off there. They seem like they're breaking right up. Maybe try this little fork. So now that um, hopefully you didn't have as much of a hard time as I did getting my raviolis off the parchment paper, but I showed you how to use a fork to get up under it to get it off there. So I have um, 12 pieces here, which is going to make six, so I can show you how to do this because I'm sure you don't want to sit here and watch me, you know, keep redoing it. Um, I got another piece of the dough over here. So what you do is after, you know, you get as many raviolis as you can out of the one piece, you grab all the scraps, make another ball, start over until you use up all the dough. All right? So I have this um, nice little scooper right here that I use for fat bombs. So I'm just going to grab a scoop of the cheese filling, and I'm going to put it right here like this.
then once you have all the raviolis made up, which, um, you know, I just made up some right now so I could show you how to do this. I got to finish the process. It's a little lengthy. Uh, if you notice, it's a little tricky getting the dough off the parchment paper, but we finally figured out the way with the fork that I showed you. So I'm going to put these in the freezer for at least 15 minutes. And then you just take these out. You saute them in a skillet with a little bit of olive oil until they're golden brown. And then add your favorite sauce and there you go. You can have keto raviolis. Like always, this is what we're going to use. Raoul's. Um, this is the tomato basil. It's perfect for keto. I'll leave a link to that in the description where you can get it right on Amazon. Have it delivered right to your house. And remember, anything you buy through the links that I share in the description, help me, you know, support this channel and bring you this content. If you found any value in this video, please share it with your friends and family or anybody you know doing the ketogenetic diet that might need some help.